troopers, which is warranting, filming, painting and decorating trade secrets. And today I'm going to show you how to undercoat a section of skirting. Right, first of all, uh, for this particular exercise, I'm going to use a uh, water based undercoat. Right, the next thing you'll need is the correct type of brush for cutting up uh, woodwork to walls. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this type of brush. As you can see on this type of brush, it bevels in. Okay, now if you watch some of my other videos, it'll explain to you how to get this shape of brush for cutting in woodwork to walls. Okay. Right, so that's the type of brush you'll need and the undercoat. Okay, so what we're going to do here is a section of skirting board here. We're going to show you how to undercoat. On this particular piece, I've um, replicated uh, the effect of if you've got a carpet down in your own house or a private job, you'll need to mask and tape the carpet or the floor uh, underneath the skirting if possible so you don't get any paint on the floor surface. Then I'll do a section down here for you uh, in, in this property which is a new build, right? where it doesn't really matter if you uh, get undercoat or hit the floor with the paint, okay? So what I'll do now, I'll bring the camera over and show you me actually undercoating. Right, as you can see, I've masking taped the floor in this new property, which just simulates uh, you either masking taping the on top of the liner uh, in a kitchen or as if you are painting skating boards with the carpets down okay right so there you go you see so that won't matter if I hit the skating board or not okay Right, as you can see, I have just undercoated that little bit there, so you can see what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, now I'll just show you the cutting in section. So what you've got to do is start off somewhere near the top, and do that sort of action, back and forth. Like I've said before, you need the right brush for this. And then hit the floor. Okay. So basically, you cut the top here and then do the bottom section. Into the corner. Can't sort that. Might need to go back and forth a few times. And then do the bottom. Because you've got the tape on the floor, you can hit the floor. That tape might have a line underneath it or carpet. Okay. See what you've got to do. Use the corner, edge of the brush, drag it along, and then do the bottom near the floor. Right, so now I'll just show you up from a distance. 
normally if you're right handed, start from the right and work your way across. So, cut the top in. I know I'll make it look a bit easy, but practice makes perfect. There you go. Back and forth motion. So you don't be just doing that because you'll leave marks on it. Back and forth, back and forth. Leaves it nice and smooth. So, that's basically it. If you're doing a kitchen or somewhere where your carpet's down on the floor, masking tape the bottom, go underneath the skirting board with a masking tape as much as you can. Uh, when it comes to painting, cut the top in first, hit the bottom and hit the masking tape with the undercoat. If you're a new work property where you're not worried about getting paint on the floor. Just same again, cut the top in, paint the bottom section with a flat bar to the skirting board, and you don't have to worry about hitting the floor. But obviously, the more you don't hit the floor, the less chance there is of picking up grit off the concrete floor. Like I said, Wellington filming, painting, decorating, trade, trade secrets. Thanks for watching and thanks for all my subscribers.